everyone welcome back to another video i hope you're all doing well so this week today is monday we are officially on a five day countdown until a big market weekend at 40 hall which is this weekend saturday and sunday very much looking forward to it also a bit nervous i don't know why i always get nervous before markets but i shouldn't be because this will be my second time doing the spring one so this week's video is going to be sort of like a week in the life. I am working from home every day this week which is great so it means as soon as five o'clock comes around I can shut my laptop and crack on with some small business stuff and not have to worry about the commute home. So that saves me like an hour, an hour and a half which is great. So today first day in the five day countdown so today i'm going to well i don't know really gotta wait until five o'clock comes around but probably do a couple more coasters maybe a vase i think hopefully if i could squeeze that in but if not still got four more days so we shall see <laughs> This one I actually did on Sunday, which was yesterday. Uh, really love this one. I thought of doing maybe something, so, I mean, I say doing something slightly different. They're all different, but yeah, this is more like a sort of like tarot card, moon, pink cloud. I, yeah, I think this one's really cute, especially when I get like a nice gloss varnish on it as well. That'd be really cute. I also done another one with some little oranges on them, which I really like. These little bumblebees. This one, like a, this is quite a random one. It's like a green striped blue flower ribbons, which are classic on but uh, yeah, really like that one. That was quite funky. And I've done this little like floral butterfly. I really like this one. This one's more sort of like a neutral one, I think. And um, maybe for the more neutral kind of person out there, but still quite colorful and vibrant with some little flowers on there as well. So I think on this one I'm gonna do, I think a jammy dodger. I did a jammy dodger plant pot before and that sold really quickly at a market. I love jammy dodgers, now I'm really craving them but I don't have them. But uh, yeah, think on, yeah, this one, jammy dodger. While that coast is drying, I'm going to maybe paint a base colour on this vase. I think I said in my last video, I think I might do some like townhouse vases. Like I've done shop ones, but maybe just some sort of like normal housey ones. And I've got some uh, like wire fencing that I put around. Um, let me show you. So I've got some like different kind of wire fencing that I might put around. I usually use some pliers to sort of cut off what I need and then I wrap around the fence. So it almost looks like a little house with a little fence going around it, sort of like that and then it'll go all the way around so I'm thinking I might do maybe like a pinky one for spring I think that might be cute so I'm thinking almost like a muted lemon yellow orangey color and then the pink fence going around there I think that will look really cute with some like green planty things maybe just to sort of give it a bit of contrast and a bit of depth yeah I think I like those two together so I think I'm gonna go for that color so I'm in two minds whether to call it a day here because I'm absolutely starving and I do want dinner. So, as you have seen, so I managed to do a uh, moon tarot. I don't want to do the whole like, is it 2016 like makeup like look? <laughs> but uh, yeah, so the moon coaster, which I'm really happy with. I think that looks really pretty and sweet. I tried to make it almost like a mosaic tile, like the white outline. Uh, I'm really pleased with how that one turned out. And also did the jammy dodger. I love it. I especially like the red border, maybe that's what we'll call it edging but yeah really chuffed with how that one turned out as well love a jammy dodger and really craving uh, jammy dodgers now so 
that is helpful. I also managed to, let me find it. I also managed to do base coat on vase, which isn't very much. I might maybe just start doing some of the design to see where it takes me, but I have done, can you see? It's almost like a yellowy, which it, it isn't much really in terms of progress, but at least that's a base coat for one I can do tomorrow. I might actually do another base coat of another one. So when tomorrow comes around and go, right, I've got two vases to paint today. So by the end of tomorrow, I would have done two coasters and two vases. And then when I've done two vases, prep two more things. Maybe. Good idea, but if we execute that or not, we shall see. But uh, yeah, so might do some more of that, but I will probably touch base with you again tomorrow. I might actually do the white fence with the yellow because I'm thinking if I do like a yellow obviously the windows are blue but like maybe like a blue front door or like some blue like a blue canopy or something like that I think the white might look really good and I was thinking I did paint this coaster in this green color like olive green it does need a second coat but I was thinking maybe if I do a house like house vase with this and this I'm like that's a really cute combo if that one's more like neutral and this one's like pink and green I really like that rather than pink and yellow. I, don't know, I feel like that's a bit off, but that, I really like that. So I might do a vase in that one as well. So it's now officially time to start work. So I'm gonna leave this for now. I managed to get door and a few windows on there, which is good. Probably leave that to dry anyway for a bit. I'm gonna leave that candle burning because just setting the good vibes for a morning at work. So I'm gonna crack on with work and then I'll probably do a bit more of this around lunchtime. So work is now done for the day. I did manage to paint this strawberry coaster in my lunch break i'm really pleased with how that's turned out it's actually quite realistic so really pleased with that one so add that to a little collection i've got going all along here <laughs> um i do need to va actually varnish and put backings on all of those but that's probably a job i'll do on maybe thursday as i have finished work i've managed to do a little bit on my lunch but managed to do this yellow house files uh, which i'm really pleased with love doing these um, managed to put a little fence around. I did actually glue that on and I'm thinking it might be okay to cut off but I want to make sure it is completely dry before I do do that so might give that maybe another hour just to be sure that is okay but I'm thinking maybe oh another vase another coaster I'm thinking more coasters I'm thinking just bash out the coasters while I have them because I've got plenty well, I say plenty I've got three Six, nine, twelve, fifteen, sixteen. And the fact that there's a gap for two there is really annoying. So I might do two more. Um, so that'll give me a total of eighteen, which I still don't think will probably be enough considering they're quite small items to sell for a low price. So I'll probably have quite a few more of those. I might even do like five more, maybe eight more. I don't know. We shall see. Oh, that's turned out so nice. I'm really pleased with that. I think the fence looks really nice on this one as well. So, yeah, chuck that. Another item for market stall. So, I'm thinking on this one, little tiger who came to tea. Okay, big fan of this one. It's so sweet. I love it. I might do, I don't know, I might do a Paddington one as well because I think in a couple of videos ago, might have been my office tidy video. I stumbled across loads of uh, Paddington tissue paper. Um, it sort of come out like a similar effect like this one. I just think it's so sweet. It looks like a little book cover. We are getting there slowly but surely.
it's Thursday already. I don't know how we got here. I don't know <laughs> where the days have gone. I have still got so much to do and not a lot of time to do it in. So yeah, it's really hard trying to juggle working full time, working on a small business, particularly coming up to a market day and trying to eat good, trying to exercise, trying to socialize. It is hard, it is tough out here. I've been to the gym every morning this week, which has made me feel, it's given me like a burst of energy, which is good, but I'm also very tired and we've got a lot to do, not a lot of time to get it done in. Also very aware that I look like an egg today, so please <laughs> excuse me, but yeah. So today we're gonna bash out some more coasts. I think it's just, we were doing a coast a week this week. It is a coast a week. I might actually do another plant pot, which I haven't done in a while, because I know I've still got quite a few. But I did order these like little resin butterflies. So I'm thinking like a sunset plant pot with some resin butterflies. It might look really sweet. So I think I'm gonna try that today. And yeah, let's get on with it. So this was the vision I had. It is by no means complete, but I've started sticking on the little butterflies and I think they're so sweet. I did a pot like this years. I actually did a few, uh, a few like these. A few, I can't speak, a few like this a couple of years ago and they did really well but I'm liking how it's coming along so far. So I've got little butterflies, clouds, like a sunset and some little stars um, with my Posca pen that I've used over there. Yeah, really liking how this is coming along so far. Genuinely think this super glue fumes are getting to me. Uh, yeah, still a lot to do. it. so I started painting this one just to do like another design for the butterflies like maybe like a blue and a pink one rather than a purple and a pink one just so there's more than one because I've got loads of butterflies to use but I don't know if you can see there's a crack in it I don't know if you can see that oh so I can't yeah can you see there there's a crack so I can't actually use this one which is a little bit annoying great news I've managed to find a plant pot that I can do this on which is a bigger one than that one so I've done like a blue pink sunset I think with some clouds some stars and some butterflies that is gonna look lush right do we see the vision I really like this one I might actually not do any clouds only because I've taken the pink slightly higher in some areas I might just do this like more butterflies only because it's a lot bigger um, and put some little stars and dots on there as well so yeah stay tuned to see how that one turns out so they are done they're now drying I've put the base color inside color um, in on the so and you can see that that's drying on the radiator which is on because I'm absolutely freezing today because the weather has taken a turn for the worst so I yeah so I've put the they look really dark but it's because I've got the the big light on and uh, the windows the other side of me but yeah really pleased with those I decided not to put stars on this one only because I don't know I just like the butterflies on this one whereas this one I thought stars were necessary because it's a darker colour but yeah really Please with those. Okay, so the big light is doing me absolutely no favours at all, but those two plant pots are dry. Can I bash out another couple of coasters? I'm not sure. I definitely still need to varnish to put backings on all the ones I've done. I did prep another Tiger Who Came to Tea and a Paddington one, so I might do those. Maybe bash out another one. It's Friday tomorrow, it's only one day left, so back to coasters, I think. So in terms of today, we've done two plant pots, done three coasters, did uh, another tiger came to tea, Pennington, a little fruity one which I really like but I can't believe I've never thought about doing this before but the shelves that I use for my markets, this was like the ladder thing I was talking about, I'm not sure if you saw it in my market vlog um, and I don't think I showed it when I did my market prep video either but why have I never used this before for like drying and like just putting things to the side while they're drying? Like I've actually never thought about doing that but it's been a bit of a lifesaver because surface space in here is at a minimum but yeah so these are all the coasters that I've done for my market. Got another tiger there. And so these are all the ones down here. And then there's the vase. So in terms of this week, that is pretty much what I've done. Pretty chuffed, really. That seems like quite a lot. I actually say this past week. I did do some of the coasters last week. But yeah, we've done a lot. I don't think I'm going to do any more tomorrow. I think I do need to varnish all of this. And I might do that this evening. And then tomorrow is going to be mostly like packing the stuff away and just getting organized and putting all my stuff together look at all the stuff i've done i'm so chuffed also going back to the studio office tidy up vlog there was a danger that we were gonna get in a messy situation again like look like cardboard boxes and stuff but like the floor space is clean it's just the desk and that is an easy fix she says so i don't think obviously i've like put stuff away but in terms of like giving it a clean there's not much point in me doing that until i've 
done my market weekend so that is a problem for me for next week that is a me problem for next week so yeah we're going to address that then but yeah it, it is what it is it just gets a mess and yeah gotta live with it hi everyone it is friday it's the day before my market weekend i got a lot done yesterday which was really great i was a bit nervous about how much i could get done but i feel like i've pretty much got there in terms of the amount of products i can make and do before tomorrow uh so today it's going to be i think just varnishing the last few items mostly the coasters and a couple of plant pots and putting backings on the coasters i need to find my card reader and charge that i need to charge my portable charger don't know where that is i need to find that as well and what else well, i need i need to make sure i've got the bags my tablecloth my uh my price signs my furniture my market furniture the boxes which are there i actually need to empty those and get those ready to take with me i need to pack the luggage suitcases as well i need to take a chill pill i think but yeah i think i'm there in terms of the items i don't think i can stretch myself to do any more today i think today is just going to be just doing the last few things in terms of prep and just making sure i've got everything ready so yeah i'm going to crack on with the varnishing and the yeah everything else really so today we need to varnish all of this which i am slightly dreading i mean it shouldn't take too long if i just bash it out all in one go and it's a nice sunny day so i can leave those out in the sunshine to dry um, and put the backings on but i might put the backings on first just so that obviously that's done and then the varnish can dry on top rather than wait for the varnish to dry and put the backings on but i, I still don't know if that's enough but i think at this stage it's just gonna have to do I have to pack away these candlesticks i actually sold uh i think it was like midnight last night i'm not sure but <laughs> uh, i actually sold the alice in wonderland set and i'm so happy about that i'm so glad uh that someone loves them as much as i do so i'll be packing those up to go off to their lovely new home i think i said in my last vlog or the one before that basically all of this stuff in here is from my last market i've got no idea what's in here i cannot remember whether it's going to be enough i'm not sure but we'll open that i have been looking for this for ages <laughs> oh my god so i actually lost um well i didn't lose it i lost my other one i left it at my mother-in-law's but i had this one as a backup but i couldn't find it for ages so i've been going without the bronzer for quite a while but it was just there upside down i had no idea but yeah battered but yeah super pleased about that but anyway so yes yeah, so everything in there should be good to go i need to dig out my card reader and charge that up and um, that's gonna be super important i also need to charge my portable phone charger because i'm going straight from 40 hall tomorrow to take that the o2 and i don't want my phone to die because the tickets would be on that so i need to charge my phone not my phone charger my portable charger as well um and that'll be a good backup for my card reader if it does die which it shouldn't do but you never know found it didn't think i would but i found it i'm gonna charge it now so glad I found that. I usually always keep it in the same place, but I always have this, not irrational fear, but an irrational fear that I will lose it. So I'm gonna charge this now so it's all ready for tomorrow. Spooky, I don't know why it's flashing. I think things like, if you film something electronic, it usually does this, but that is now charging. It's not bugging out, believe me, but yeah, glad I found that. I thought I had everything ready. We're 99% there. Everything is packed. Everything is away. 
luggage is done, everything's dry, it's packed, we're good to go. However, where is my portable charger? I do not know. I must have tidied it away in my, <laughs> in my office workspace cleaning vlog. And where did I put it? I do not know. I've searched high and low. I say that, I haven't really checked that much, but yeah, really could do with that. Because like I said, I'm off to see Take That tomorrow night, the O2. So I'm going straight from the venue to the O2 uh, in Greenwich in London. I think it's Greenwich, might have made that up. But uh, yeah, could really do with finding that. I'm sure my boyfriend's got one somewhere, but do I know where that is either? I do not. So I will let you know if and when I find that. Hopefully I do, but yeah, we'll see. Well, that was a false alarm. I found it literally two, three minutes after I filmed that clip. I found it. I checked in the place where I thought it probably would be, but didn't think to look there before because I was like, oh no, surely I wouldn't have put it there. But then I may have put it there and I found it. So that's good. I need to charge that up. So basically everything I need tomorrow doesn't die. Goodness me, when I tell you my brain has gone to mush. Yeah, I can't even speak at this point. I'm so tired. It's been a hell of a week. We made it, we're done. Portable charger is now on charge. The last thing I actually need to do is charge this camera. Cause like I said, I do actually wanna bring you guys along to the whole weekend. So it's Saturday and Sunday at Forty Hall, which is my favorite venue. It's my favorite market location. I absolutely love it. So I do really want to bring you guys along. So I am now officially going to upload this video to my editing software. So I can put that on YouTube this evening. So if you are watching on Friday, which day it goes live. Happy Friday, everyone. I, yeah, I'm so excited for this weekend. I'm gonna bring you guys along. So yeah, need to make sure I charge my camera and bring my camera. If I forget my camera, then I might have to do a bit of the old iPhone, but I just, yeah, it's not gonna be as great. So thank you so much for spending the week with me. Uh, even though I've probably condensed this into like a 20, 25 minute video. It's been it's been a ride. It's been a bumpy journey, but we've made it. I've done as much as I can. Physically and emotionally, I am drained. Yeah, I'm gonna bring you guys along and that video, market video, will be on YouTube next Friday. So in a week's time, so it gives me a week to rest, recover, tidy up, and yeah, edit the videos that I do film. That's a wrap, we've done it, we made it. Happy Friday, I cannot wait to shut my laptop, shut my camera, get this YouTube video onto YouTube because the brain, the brain is dead, the brain is gone. So thank you so much for spending the week with me. I hope you enjoyed it. It's been a bit varied, been a bit chaotic and wouldn't have it any other way really. Please like and subscribe if you don't already. It's really great if you guys return and watch my videos. It just means when I do film, it's not as lonely. Owning a small business can be really lonely at times. Uh, just because I'm a one woman band, I do this on my own, so it's great to actually have someone to talk to, even though I'm not actually talking to someone, I'm talking to the camera. Thank you so much again, and I will see you guys in the next Market Day video. Mm -hmm.